in the middleweight division of UFC 288. You got Joseph Holmes coming in at 8 and 3, taking on Claudio Ribeiro, who comes in at 10 and 3. And this is going to be a great fight. You got the American fighting the Brazilian. Holmes, the American, three inches taller at 6 4. He's got about a three inch reach advantage. Both guys stand right handed. Now, Ribeiro lands more significant strikes per minute, like 3.9 compared to 3.1, but not a big difference. But Ribeiro will outpace him by about 10 to 15 significant strikes in this fight. But Holmes can deny that a little bit because he's got a good takedown ability, landing like a takedown every other round. You know, we haven't seen much of that yet from, uh, from Ribeiro because he's KO'd both of his opponents. So I'm sure he's got that in his uh, wheelhouse too. Now, Holmes come up the loss to Jung Yong Park by submission. So that's not good news. He beat Alan Amadoski by submission. Okay. And Shante Barnes by decision. He also lost to Jamie Pickett by decision. So he's got some questionable losses there. Now, Ribeiro lost two outside the UFC, but he lost one inside the UFC against Abdul Razak Al Hassan by second round KO. He beat Ivan Valenzuela by KO at Dana White's Contender Series. So I missed that the first time. He's actually uh, 0-1 in the UFC, but he did win at the Contender Series. So guys capable of being KO, they both have question marks here. But I like the Brazilian in this one just because I know there's always that potential to go to the ground. So if Ribeiro's in trouble, he might shoot him for a takedown. We saw that twice last week. So I'm leaning with Ribeiro here, even though he'll probably land more significant strikes, might get the KO himself. We'll see. But I like Ribeiro either way to win this fight and what could be a, a grudge match for sure. But Ribeiro wins, in my opinion, moves to 11-3. Middleweight division, UFC 288.